ASEAN and ASEAN Plus 3 and ASEAN Plus 6. And I would like to highlight a specific uh, direction in human resource development in logistics and supply chain professionals. The current status of Indonesia is very simple, that the last 20 years we spent a lot of time and money for our democracy and less money we put into our infrastructure. As an illustration, after 1998, we just spent only 1 to 3 percent of our GDP for infrastructure development. Meanwhile, World Bank proposed we need to spend around 6 to 8 percent of our GDP for infrastructure. So you can see the gap between what we have here. So now we realize, after we have stable government, now we realize we are lacking of our investment in infrastructure, including soft structure as well, in, in education, as well as in IT innovation. So we are still five rank in our availability of infrastructure. So one of our problem is insufficient provision or insufficient supply of infrastructure. So it's low behind, uh, like, uh, our rank is behind uh, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, and even Vietnam. So based on Global Competitiveness Report 2014, that, our, that Indonesian infrastructure is at rank 61st out of 148 countries. So it is in the middle. And the second challenge is how to enhance the national logistic performance. Based on World Bank study, we are at the rank 53rd out of 160 countries. And even for logistic infrastructures, is worse. Yeah? Rank 56. This is the funny story because when we have lack of infrastructure, our logistics 